Oh, microphone, go to a decent place. Okay, and I think we are back. We wiggle the mouse around. Yep, I seem to be live on the dashboard. I'm back. This is Fimbleweed Park. Do you know what? I'm going to hide that because it gets in the way of the infantry for you people watching. If you haven't seen me play this before, it's all over on my YouTube channel. Um, I have that linked down below. It is. It's linked in the down below. So if you want to catch up, feel free. Please go and watch. The support is most welcome, most appreciated. Um, but with all that said, let's crack on. Have a look at this fountain. I have no idea what they are doing. Nor do I. That's like a, a walk to fountain behind. <laughs> nice. Can I look at the fountain behind? No. <laughs> There's a phone. There's a lift. Here's the sheriff Welcome slash coroner. Welcome to the Hotel. Most beautiful hotel abu in the Tri-Thimbleweed Park County area. How may I be a boo of service? You look awfully familiar. Have Something about the before? eyes. I don't believe a boo so. Well, there you go. Is anything going on in the hotel today? Nothing, Abu. Certainly not more cases of food poisoning. <laughs> no, Definitely not, Abu. Do you know what happened to Franklin Edmund? Huh. I saw him, but I don't know, Abu, what happened to him. Funny thing, Abu, though. Go on. That same day, a man with a large nose, Abu, checked in and <laughs> then disappeared. Melio Estefes. That is an odd arena coincidence. What room did he check into? Oh, let me see, Abu, now. It was a Mr. Emilio <laughs> Estevez. Yes. He checked into a room, Abu, on the eighth floor. I'd like that room key for our investigation. Yeah, I'm would. not sure I should do that without a warrant, Abu. But since there's nothing to see there, I suppose, Abu, I can give it to you. Thank you. Finally. <laughs> How else may I be a boo of service? Uh... I'm going to check out your beautiful lobby. Why does Goodbye. everyone want Have to check nice out evening, the beautiful Abu. lobby? Alright, I was talking over you there, Mr. Sheriff slash coroner slash hotel manager. Right, so after I've got two room keys, 804 and 302. Let's head to 302 first. Ba, ba, ba. Looking three oh two. It's locked. I do have to do this. Okay. Oh, there's a teddy bear. The label says Pillow Bear. I wonder how it got here. Passport. It's a German passport for Boris Schultz. Oh, so I've got ID and photo. I can do one of the uh, Tron 3000 things. All right. The lid of a toilet. Things don't get more <laughs> amazing than that. You say so. All right, let's rush to the 8th floor. See how it goes. Was it eight oh four? So that's going to be. It's the hotel key card for Franklin Edmund's room. Mister Mino Estefes, I think you'll find. Oh, it's fine. I can ignore that. There's nothing in here. The Hotel Tron Three Thousand seems to think this bed is made. That gum appears to be the only evidence that Franklin was ever in this room. I'm not touching that. It's getting dark out there now. Okay. Oh, something's happening. Ah, 
yes, he is dead, and he's a ghost. <laughs> what was all that about? Why couldn't they see me? I'm dead? <clears throat> well, I guess that's probably what I deserve. About time you joined us in the land of the almost dead. Who are you? Almost dead? I'm Xavier, the head ghost, and I'm in charge of the ghosts. I run a tight ship. Everyone must pull their weight or face the penalties. What do you mean, pull their weight? Don't ask. <laughs> Time to update the schedule for everyone to follow. Clara, you're on elevator duty. Don't let anyone get to the penthouse. I was just on elevator duty. No arguing. Now, Virgil, keep up the good work on front door duty. Don't let anyone in or out of the hotel. It's about time the living started realizing who's really in charge around here. That doesn't seem right. <laughs> That's irrelevant. New ghost, you're going so to scare at least ghosts. two people who tried to use the drinking fountain in the lobby. Okay, we can okay. do that. Everyone to work. What are you waiting for, Clara? Oh, she's the weak link. By the way, your brother died. Oh. Chuck's dead? Thanks. When did that happen? I'm free of Chuck's tyranny. That is, I know he would have come here to tell me off if he could. I wonder why this head ghost seems so bossy. I've got to scare someone? Hmm. Maybe I have special powers. Maybe. Can I not get out now? Do I have to do this Franklin stuff now? Oh, no. I've done it again. Oh, look, I can see the ghost, kind of. Now that I know they exist. I can't see her, though. That's why I couldn't get to the penthouse. <laughs> That's funny. I like that. I like that a lot. If I try and get out, am I going to be stuck? Yes. I'm not going through while it's spinning like that. Okay, so I've got to do this Franklin stuff first. That's cool. I like that. I can probably scare him at the water fountain, actually, so let's switch. Oh, and the annoying kid. Yes. It's a door. That tickles. Also Oh, I can just get into any room I like. That might come in handy. The elevator isn't on this floor. Uh, zap? That seemed to work. <laughs> oh, okay. You ought to be doing your job. Scaring someone in the lobby instead of talking to me. You don't want to make Xavier mad. I kind of do. Oh, these buttons just work. Weird. I'm going to go straight to scaring people. Assuming once I've scared people, I can get the other guy out. I mean, there's obviously a lot more to do here. Well, what can I do? Splash the drinking fountain. No. The effect would be better if someone was using it. I agree. Ah! There we go. Huh, get real. That's totally not the greatest. <laughs> What's going on here, Abu? I better jet out of here. Oh, it's just the drinking Abu fountain. As long as it's not something serious, Abu, then I won't have to call our plumbers. <laughs> not bad. Now you need to find someone else to scare. Then you'll have met your daily quota. Okay. I have to get back to work now. How long are you on door duty for? Until Xavier says we're all done for the day. Now, deep breath. This is my job. Go do your own job and scare someone <laughs> around here. Now, deep breath. Right. Ghosts aren't very friendly. I reckon. I need to stay focused and solve this murder so I can do what I need to do. What is it you need to do? What are these secrets they gotta do? So if I splash it while he's there. <laughs> yes, look at that. How'd that happen? Something spooky is going on. What's going on here, Abu? The drinking fountain? It's, um. Oh, it's just the fountain, Abu, again? It still doesn't <laughs> seem serious enough to call the plumbers, Abu. Do I want to call the plumbers? Passable. I'm surprised you had it in you. Time for another ghost meeting. Clara, Virgil, 
Get over here now. Will I be able to get to the penthouse now? Virgil, good work on the door. That should do it for today. New ghost, average first scares. Keep practicing. Clara, stay on elevator duty. I need some privacy. So no, I can't get to the penthouse. Unfair. Why do the men get to finish for the day? Enough complaining. Do you remember what happened last time? All right, all right. He's definitely Sorry the weak link. We don't know who put him in charge. <laughs> oh, so, oh, what are you looking at? Oh, there's someone in room 10A7. Must be important. They zap the bell. That doesn't use electricity. Uh, can I? I wonder what the guests chill the bell. I feel like something other than the Hotel Tron Three Thousand is watching me. Well, back to work. There's no water to splash there. Oh. <laughs> um. All right. Let's go to floor ten. See what we can do with this guy in that room. We know he's going to spy on him. I wonder what the guest is up to now. Yes. Can I Zane talk to you yet? Talking on duty is not allowed. Also, I don't talk to new ghosts. Leave me alone. Harsh. Very harsh. Oh, such a slow lift. Uh, 1007, right? What's this one? Can I scare you? Oh. Oh. I can probably turn the telly off. That's a bit strange. Turn the radio on. What was that? Is something in the toilet? His head exploded. What on earth is all that? That okay. Man. I've got to help a boo him. Hello, oh. Acme Maintenance. It's Hope he's going to go up there. The Hotel. We've got an emergency, a boo, right now. What do you mean you're not available tonight, a boo? <laughs> you're supposed to be a 24-hour service arena, a boo. Where will I find someone else, a boo, at this hour? Huh. Well, maybe I imagined it. You did not. Did I do something with the phone? Means I can use it. No reaction, huh? We oh. Ooh. What was that? <laughs> <laughs> Again? Maybe I didn't imagine it. That poor okay. man. I've got to keep trying to help a boo him. Hello, <laughs> it's the Edmund Abu Hotel. We've got an emergency Abu right now. What do you mean you're not available tonight, Abu? You're supposed to be a 24 hour service arena, Abu. Where will I find someone else, Abu, at this hour? Huh. Well, maybe I imagined it. Can I just do the same stuff again? What was that? I didn't imagine it. That poor man. I've got to keep trying to help a boo him. Hello. Acme this is the same conversation. We'll Edmund stop doing Abu this. Hotel. We've got an emergency a boo right now. What do you mean you're not available tonight, a boo? You're supposed to be a 24 hour service arena, a boo. Where will I find someone else, a boo, at this hour? Huh. Well, okay. Maybe I imagined it. Maybe you did. Oh, I can do the woman now as well. Can I volunteer to help? Welcome to the Edmund Hotel. Most beautiful hotel abu in the Tri-Thimbleweed Park County area. How may I be a boo of service? Is anything going on in the hotel today? We talk about Nothing ghosts. Certainly not more no. cases of food poisoning. 
Definitely not a boo. I'm going to check out your beautiful lobby. Goodbye. Have a nice evening, Abu. Okay, so I can do some Tron 3000 stuff. Uh, can I just look at the map to travel? I can. Where haven't I been? I haven't been to the circus. I haven't been to the radio station. I haven't been to the factory. I haven't been to the trailhead. I have. Let's try the mansion. The mansion, mansion. <laughs> I like it. Oh God, is Doug still going? Digging. He is. Oh, there's chainsaw gas still. Nice. Excuse me, sir. May I ask what you are doing? I'm just digging. Mostly holes. <laughs> and then I bury them again, all neat and tidy. It's a gas can. Don't get your hopes up, though. Good. That means it's still... Digging. Chainsaw gas. Digging. All gassed up. So now I can get into the sewers, which is interesting. Digging in the front. Better ring the doorbell. Hello? How can I help you? Federal agent. What do you know about the body <laughs> by the river? I'm sorry. This isn't a good time to chat. So, if you'll excuse me, I need to talk to my sister about the will reading before heading out. She's waiting for me in the library. Well, okay. Just don't leave town. Okay, I can't do it. Oh, I can play as Dolores now. Do I want to do that? No, I want to go and see what I can find by the sewers. By the sewers? In the sewers. Digging. Uh, so I want to look at the map. That is here, right? Where's the bridge? Yeah. It yeah, says the cemetery. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Yep, 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 yep. I know what I'm doing. Uh, I need a blood sample. Blood sample. Uh, let's try this. That worked. I have a blood sample. We have a blood sample, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen. Whatever the new titles are. Right. Uh, chainsaw. You. Chainsaw on three. <laughs> this is where the creepy violin music is. Freshly cut. Light switch. It is. Oh, speck of dust. I don't know why I keep on picking up these specks of dust, but I do. Poster. Promotions from businesses that closed down in town. No, I don't want to pick that up. Ah, oh, this looks like it's going to be a maze puzzle. I mean, I need a map, or can I just bumble my way through? Oh, speck of dust. Ooh, piece of candy. Ooh, piece of candy. Uh, look at the this valves. valve has also been welded into position. Yeah, I don't think I need to worry about the valves unless they are the clue as to how I get places. Oh, piece of candy. And There's a huge skeleton. <laughs> skeleton here, but no one has ever found one so close to the surface. Someone must have stolen it from a natural oh. history museum. All right, I was not expecting to find a huge house skeleton in here. Ah, oh, nothing to surprise me now. I've played Monkey Island, come on. Okay. Oh, now we're under Main Street. Now we're under A Street. That's where I came in? Now I don't know where I am. Oh, piece of candy. Uh, let's get through here. Ooh! So you can just bumble your way through. Oh, these are the mushrooms that I needed to get. I hope this is what Madame Marina needs. What is this? Is this the murder weapon? 
There's a violin. It's an ice pick. This could be the murder weapon. Alright, we will pick up the murder weapon. These red herring like bags. An adventure game red herring. <laughs> I don't have a warrant for adventure game red herrings. Uh, my nose tells me that my eyes don't want to look at that. I don't have a warrant for stinky shoes. I have a warrant Nothing for a murder weapon. Looks like it's lost a couple of strings. I don't have a warrant for a badly tuned violin. There's the violin. So that again. Those bags don't look very interesting. I don't have a warrant for random bags. It's trying to make you think that it is the bum. This could be the murder weapon. We so should I... dust it for prints. It's just gonna do that. Why do you give me clues? I did hard mode for a reason, you know. Did I get the fingerprint? There's definitely a clear fingerprint here. So I can do two of those Tron 3000s now. So I've got a blood sample. I can do all of them, right? So I put the weapon in as well. Ooh, a piece of candy. Ooh, a piece of candy. Important safety measure. I don't need the extra safety of a, co a pile of dirt. Get some dirt. There's already enough dirt on me just from walking through these sewers. Do I need dirt? Uh, no thanks. <laughs> All right. I can't actually remember how I got out of here or into here. I wonder if there's anything else in the in these tunnels I meant to have found. Because I'm assuming I'm not meant to have done it quite as easily as I did. This looks like the kind of puzzle that's meant to grind you down and take you hours. Uh, this is wrong. Yeah, that's a skeleton. Every adventure game has got these kind of puzzles. Uh, no, that's not right either. Find a website through here. Yeah, then we're out. That's fairly simple. Again, I'm not sure if it's meant to have been that simple. If we look at the map it's an instant and go to Main Street up there. see what we can do. Ooh, piece of candy. Let's see what we can do in the ways of Tron 3000 stuff. Oh, he's gone. He's not asleep here anymore. So I put the book in before, so I should just be able to do this. Oh, bing, bing, bing. I'm assuming that's a good noise. Uh, fingerprint on the murder weapon belongs to Willie T. Wino. Yeah, that's that's the guy that wants you to think it is. I'm pretty convinced it's not him. Uh, okay, so now I can do the base tron. Here we go. Now, is it going to... This is the identity report I've been waiting for. Yeah, no. Uh, so we know it's German, Boris Thoughts. Okay, so we know who it is. We know who the suspect is. It's too soggy to put it in the blood tron. Uh, that's a shame. Better not. Might remove the prints. Okay, so I need the wallet from the wino before I can do the blood. And I need to do something else with that. Okay. But I do now have the mushrooms. I could go to um, the occult bookstore. You got any loose change? I don't know how I'm going to get. Oh, wait. We're behind the occult bookstore. Nothing here. But again. Cast your lot before it's too late. Oh, you moved. I think I Here found some mushrooms. Sweet. 
Hand it over and we'll see what answers the void offers today. <laughs> what did you see? Unless the killer was a rainbow dragon powered by starshine, I can't help you. But thanks for the shrooms. Leonard and I are gonna have a blast tonight. Who's Leonard? I feel I've been had. I feel I've been had as well. Alright, so that's a MacGuffin. Goodbye. But that did lead you to the murder weapon. Um Where else haven't I been? Let's try the old circuits. Tickets twenty five cents. I don't want to pick that up. It's a bargain. Timmy <laughs> I remember when those dolls were all the rage. People would wait in line for hours to get one. Keep your panties on, I'm coming. <laughs> Whatever you're selling, I'm not buying. I so am not selling store suit and good news pamphlets and stick them where the <laughs> sun don't shine. Sweary, sweary. Excuse me, Mr. Ransom. I need to ask you about the body by the bridge. <laughs> I don't think he likes clowns. <laughs> Should I have brought the woman? Look, face, you better start talking or get out of here. That's the real question now. Pissing his pants on my doorstep. <laughs> uh, sorry, sir. I don't know what's come over me. <laughs> Jeez, kid. What the f is wrong with you? Let me just <laughs> turn around for a moment. Ah, that's a bit better. There we go. I'm sorry about that. I guess I never did get over what happened at my 10th birthday. Whatever, bozo. Does this mean you're going to have your back to me the whole time? Yes. We'll see how it goes. <laughs> What do you know about the body by the river? What body? Earlier this evening, we found a body down by the bridge. We're investigating, and I was told you might have some information for me. Where can nah, I get one of your wallets? I've sirens before, but I figured they were headed for the mansion mansion. That's where most of the f***ed up stuff happens. <laughs> that is true. What weird stuff do you know about at the mansion? You want to find out about the mansion mansion? You're going to have to talk to some other idiot. I keep to myself, and the town folk leave me the f alone. Thank. I'm not about to rock the boat. I don't pay rent here, and I can't go anywhere else after my f ex wife took me for everything I had. Okay. We heard you don't get along with the locals? Given my f creepy clown face and Paul Shaw for <laughs> abusive name calling. It's not made me a popular community figure. No. <laughs> but I don't need the validation of these small town losers. I'm Ransom the <laughs> Clown. I was on the <laughs> show. I'm great. Oh, I love what it. What do you know about Chuck? Chuck? As in Chuck? My factory is too good to make <laughs> boys, Edmund. Didn't know the pompous <laughs> well myself, but I knew his brother Franklin. Weedy guy. Total oh, Franklin. He's dead to now. Stand up to his big brother, even though the family business was in the crapper. That it is. How do you know Franklin Edmund? We were supposed to go into business together. My act was about to go bigger than <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> I was a hit on the Tonight Show. I was on my way to the top, so we figured why not cash in with a little <laughs> merchandising. Franklin wanted to get the pillow factory into making toys, so it seemed like a good fit. It does. Ransom is just great. He is so friendly and honest. That he is. Blabberhoof and welcome. What kind of toys were you planning to make with Franklin? Jeez, how do you get by in life without brains or beauty? <laughs> Isn't it <laughs> obvious? We were going to make Ransom the Clown insult dolls. I'd buy one. Would've great if Franklin hadn't bailed on me and gone missing before we signed the contracts. I could have been rich by now if that little toady had grown a backbone. Don't go anywhere. I'll be back. Whatever I will be back. Neck. Not like I'm going anywhere, but you're not getting inside without a warrant. Okie dokie. Can I now play as him as well? I can. Alright, so I've got plenty of options. <laughs> 
too many options now. Um, it's all just nonsense, I think. Get the plumbers in, maybe in the hotel. I don't know. Right, where haven't I been on the map? I have not been to the radio station. Oh, the what's government this? is not your friend. And now back to our <laughs> special hostile takeover song. Nice. I remember that poster. It gave me nightmares. <laughs> I'm assuming the door is locked. It's locked and bolted from the inside. Assume so. Nice. I can't. It's been glued to the desk. Let's hope it's glue. Alright, there doesn't seem to be much there right now. It says Phone Tron 3000 for when you need to handle hundreds of phone calls. Well, I wonder if I can hack into that at some point. That'd be fun. And then there's a radio tower up here. Alright. Let me guess, you're worse and you will not climb up this ladder. No way am I climbing yes. that. Yes. I'm afraid of heights. Doesn't mean the woman is though. Uh Okay, the abandoned factory. I can't see there being much here. At least not yet anyway. The future used to be a wonderful thing. <laughs> Foreclosed by order of safely first savings. And in small print, for inquiries contact safely first savings, probate executor of this property. I wonder if they're worth Looks calling dangerous. up on the phone. And yes, there's nothing else. I've been to the mansion. I haven't been to the trailhead. Ooh, a puddle. It's a puddle full of muddy water. And some pizza guy. Who I can probably stain your feet by staining that puddle or something. Because this looks like a classic maze puddle. Yep. <laughs> and possibly you can't get out. Okie dokie. I'd just like to get out now. Yeah, we all remember these from Monkey Island. Yeah. Uh, am I out yet? Yes, I am. Okay. <laughs> so, yeah, stain that puddle was something, I would guess. Uh, Ugh, smells nope. awful. Wait, let me make him stink. The gas can is already empty. Uh, that's a shame. But maybe. The I don't think that's the idea. Alright, so what are these pizza dudes? It's the first time I've heard of these pizza dudes. Um, factory, mansion, radio station, hotel I've been to, circus, bridge. Okay, I think I've been everywhere now then. It's time to switch characters. Um... Does the clown have to do? Wow, this has all gone to shit, hasn't it? My old circus poster featured the amazing Ransom the Clown. At least it's how I have to remember the code from before. Oh, thank God. Is this your joke book? It is your joke, joke book. book. But there are four pages missing. One, two, three, four. Come back here. <laughs> Oh, hey, that one's going away stop. somewhere. Bye bye, Paige. <laughs> Damn broken window. My official ransom the clown underwear. Haven't had time to wash them yet. Aww. Always time to do laundry later. Oh, more stinky cheese. It's already open. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. There you go. Anything else in there? Empty and pretty disgusting. I miss my fridge assistant. <laughs> uh, those were the days. Who has now, a fridge assistant? Why is... Little Beeper, my pet hamster. 
Looks very hungry. Why is there a hamster in the microwave? A little beeper is pretty vicious. He'd even bite me if I picked him up. Okay. He's hungry. That slop tasted like crap when I made it last week. <laughs> Maybe it's gotten better with age. The fly larva crawling all over it seemed to think so. No thanks. Oh. Leave it where it is. That is pretty grim. Pretty grim indeed. Uh, no. Postal note. It's an attempted delivery notice. That doesn't seem to work. Oh, I could probably use that at the Package post office. At Thimbleweed Park Post Office for Ransom the Clown. I'm not going to search the circus for you, Ransom. George <laughs> the Postman. <laughs> well, f*** you, Georgie, you lazy. <laughs> uh, eviction That's notice. My eviction notice from five years ago. Every time that sheriff tries to kick me out, I give him hell. And he's afraid to come back. That is the way to do it. I'll just leave it where it is. That way I can laugh at the yeah. sheriff whenever I feel like crap. <laughs> oh, there's a court summons. It's a stack of eviction notices. <laughs> like that <laughs> sheriff is really going to drag me to court. I scare the crap out of him. Yeah, you'd scare the crap out of me, I think, in real life, too. What's it's this? a Ransom the Clown comic. Issue number one. I'll take it. So I don't like to make my bed. Who the f cares? It's nowhere near my bedtime. <laughs> How the f does it work? <laughs> Still can't get the makeup off. Well, at least I. What little beeper? Tried. Ed Edison's hamster died in the microwave. There are nights to wake up and still hear the sound. That is true. That is true. I remember that. <laughs> trampoline. It's my old trampoline. Brings back memories. Can okay, I any of these? Nope. Can I use the trampoline? I need to be higher to jump on it. Okay, that seems like it's going to be important at some point. Uh, popcorn. What's this? It's a rancid kernel of popcorn. Little beeper loves this crap. Okay, so we can use that to feed him. I won't pick up some greasy, disgusting, inedible piece of popcorn if I can't put it in something. Okay. I can't leave the circus till I feed Lil' Beeper. Right, that's why we're stuck here. Right, I'm getting it, I'm getting it. Piece of candy. It's a box with a f crank on it. <laughs> I don't play with annoying in jokes turned on, I don't think. I don't know, actually. Uh, where would that be? No idea. Options video. Uh, toy? I don't know what that is either. We'll try it. It's a box with a crank on it. <laughs> <laughs> that is underwhelming. Anti-itch cream. Coslerix patented anti-itch medicine. Works wonder. I can't open that. Okie dokie. He's just going to try and scrub his face. Still doesn't work. <laughs> is that really all it does? That is that is brilliant. Well, at least I tried. One of the biggest debates of the uh, 21st century. It's my empty Ransom the Clown swear jar. It stays empty now because no one's here but me and little <laughs> nothing inside but a couple of pennies yeah well i could put the popcorn in the empty jar no all right all right i can't push that i'm not a wannabe pirate <laughs> never get me to climb into one of those besides pretty rusty and filled with rat <laughs> oh that was good okay we got a rat I'm not seeing anything i could put popcorn in though
apart from that swear jar, which you won't pick up. What have we got over here? That's where the midway used to be. Now it's my garbage dump. So I can't get it's to empty. the midway. The rats and I cleaned it out years ago. Oh, there's a popcorn bag. Now can I pick up this popcorn? Well, that's one. Lil Beeper loves this crap. How many do you have to pick up all okay, of these? Two. I can count. <laughs> Am I really gonna pick up all this crap? Rats having more fun at this than I am. <laughs> Not even half full yet. This sucks. Almost half full. Half full now. This is taking too long. This is this taking too long. It'll be 1988 before I'm done. <laughs> this is gonna take forever. Where's the rat taking the popcorn? Where are you taking the popcorn? So that's why the rat exists, to make this puzzle even longer. Can I pick up the rat? No, he doesn't exist. What's this? There is a hole. Looks like a rat hole. Looks like a rat hole. Anything I could use to go in there? No, not really. Oh, I hit my microphone there. Mighty pirate, he solved all the tasks. <laughs> that he did. Looks like a rat hole. I can't open that. <laughs> Too good to be true. Um, that is where he took the popcorn, though. Oh, I just use it. Ah, oh, come on. <laughs> Mr. Kozlarik really knows his bitch creams. <laughs> oh, there's something a little bit wrong about that. Uh, so, what can I do with this cheese? And now some cheese. I feel like I want to make a trap. That's a crappy idea. Put the cheese by the hole, but then what? I hope my rights are not too spoilers, even though she played all these games. Oh, yeah, yeah, I've played all the old games. I haven't played this one before, though. This is my first playthrough of this. But yeah, I played all the classic uh, LucasArts games. Yeah. Now you don't. Ah, what slimy piece of popcorn! There's gotta be a better way. I'm assuming I still don't have enough. It's dust. The bag's partially full of popcorn. I can't leave the. Oh, yeah, that's the wrong way. Feed little beeper. What was that? I was just a speck of dust. I picked that up. Oh, no. Will he drop more popcorn back here? Yes. Yes, he did. <laughs> it's a full bag of popcorn. There was a better way. There we go. Ah, oh, that's funny. Uh, no, I want to go this way. I always get lost in this place. Right, so now I can feed Little Beeper. In Hamster. Lovely. Here you go, Little <laughs> Enjoy your crap. <laughs> Did I want to do that? So now can I leave the circus? I can. And that is left open, so I'm assuming that I can come in with someone else and look around. I don't have a map, but I'm assuming that's not a problem for the clown? It is not. Uh, where is the post office? It's on A Street. 
If you need a hint, just ask. I solved it many times, but I keep my trap. You can think about the riddles yourself. First. Thank you very much. That's all I ask. Ransom, what are you doing here? <laughs> I want my the package. The issue of humongous honka honkas won't be mailed for at least another <laughs> week. Thank you, George. Can't a clown visit the post office without the third degree? Sheesh, someone woke up on the wrong side of the big top. Let's try that again. What can I do for you, Chuckles? <laughs> nice. Hey, George, you lazy f I want to pick up my package. Let me see Is it going to be wallets? Okay, one moment. And next time, deliver it to me in person. What do you think I pay my tax dollars for? <laughs> you haven't paid your taxes in years. Who do you think sorts all outgoing mail? Well, you. <laughs> yeah, I noticed that. Yeah. There's a note inside. Dear Mr. Clown, we hereby return your defective <laughs> samples. The wallet seems to be made out of a rare endangered species of bird, and the candy dispenser sparks whenever you use it. Please do not contact us again. <laughs> what a bunch of wads. Oh, nice. Um. Have you seen my dime? You look like you're hitting the willy sauce harder than I am. <laughs> that just sounds now a little bit wrong, like willy sauce, doesn't it? Fail. So I guess we both look like. <laughs> Will you do me a favor? I'll do almost anything for a dollar. I'm going to ignore that line because it's too easy. But next time someone gives you some cash. Can you pick up one of those pine tree car fresheners and hang it around your neck? <laughs> you smell like... Oh, dear. You always hated Chuck Edmund, right? I, I, I don't talk about that. Well, I hated the f*** too. Hey, the safe really? Xbox, how you doing? Yeah, that f***ing arrogant snob thought he was too good to make my toys. That he did. Canceled the most lucrative deal of my life. We're the only people in town who didn't want to kiss his ass. No, there was definitely something wrong with that man. Yeah. There was, yeah. Toast little of a brother Franklin had to vanish. He wanted to make the dolls because he knew a good deal when he saw one. Dumb Chuck would rather the factory stay dead than make the toys. The stubborn. And you can bet if I ever find <laughs> Franklin, I'll wring his scrawny neck for bailing on me. I don't really blame you for drinking. Oh, you don't? Nah. With your ugly face, I drink every time I pass the mirror. <laughs> You're one to talk. <laughs> oh, beautiful. You got any booze to spare? If I did, it would cost you. To be honest, I think you should be offering a drink to the poor to got to look at you. <laughs> How else will they get through the day? You know, I may be a bum, but at least I'm not an... <laughs> Have you seen my dime? That is true. No way am I going in there. She is a crazy, <laughs> a vengeful witch. I did wonder. Buy me some kombucha. <laughs> Salmon sandwiches and ransom rants and accidental alliterations. <laughs> Nicely done. I'm doing good as well. I haven't been interrupted yet today, so that's uh, always nice. I need to get this wallet to one of the detectives. Um, but I don't know where I left them. Where did I leave you? I need to stay focused and solve this murder so I can get on with my plan. Can I go and pick up a map from the shop now that they've got some left? Oh, speck of dust. I still don't know why I'm picking those I up. I like working a case alone. Oh, I forgot I left you there, actually. Welcome to Quickie Pal. Can I help you find anything? Okay, now she's got a map. And I want to go to A Street. I assume they all stay where I leave them anyway. You got any uh, second hand crystals? They do not. Okie dokie. 
Is he back at the circus? It pains me greatly, but the clown's right. I can't enter private property without a warrant. <laughs> All right. Are you here? Where did I leave you then? Did I leave him there? I don't remember leaving him there. Uh, how do I get to the map with this guy? Do I need to go and pick one up for him as well? Yeah, this is Fimblewood Park. It's, uh, have you ever played any of the Monkey Islands or Day of the Tentacle, Manic Mansion, that kind of stuff? Hey, wife. No, I'm not allowed in. All right. Oh, I am allowed in. Welcome to Quickie Pal. Can I help you find anything? There we go. Now he's got a map. That makes my life easier. Hey, face. I think I'm over <laughs> my chorophobia. Like, I don't care. I also help crowdfund this game. I'm only now just uh, finding time to play it. Naked? You better shut up or I'll arrest <laughs> you for indecency. I'll do what I can to help you find the killer. But don't get the wrong idea. I'm only helping you so you don't pin this on me just to make some agency arrest quota. The agency doesn't have a quota. We're only interested in the truth. Yeah, well, the truth is the clown didn't do it. Doesn't Agent Ray ever get on your nerves? If you're trying to play psychological <laughs> games on me, don't waste your time. They've never met in my game, but whatever. I thought you had that clown phobia thing. Uh, you're not a very good clown. Okay, that doesn't <laughs> hurt. <laughs> that was harsh. Chuck. That's no way to speak of the recently departed. He's probably not even dead. It's all an insurance scam. I wouldn't surprise me. Uh, I'm bored now. Want a free wallet? <laughs> just reminding me of how awful my life is now. And now, get back to A Street and get that wallet from the bum. Hey, buy me a drink? Yeah, I worked that out with the telephone book. Um, you got any uh, secondhand crystals? Actually, I'm not in there either. I, I, uh... Hey, buy me a drink. That doesn't seem to work. No, I want to give it. Have you seen my dime? I want that wallet. I have a new wallet for you. Can I have your muddy one? I could use a clean wallet, <laughs> thanks. Here's my old one. We'll talk later. Don't anyway, what was I saying? Down. Where would I go? Thimbleweed Park Guided Tours? So I've now got the wallet, right? This isn't mud on the wallet. It looks more like a blood stain. There's nothing inside. No money nor any ID. But I know it's the wallet I need, so how do I make this less drippy? That's the last thing I've got to do. Yeah, I was saying something. What was I saying? Yes! Um, I was too poor to back... Um, I think I only did the basic one. I can't remember what that was now. Um, I've only really got one idea regarding that. So let's try that before I switch to somebody else. It's working. The paper is drying out. Okay, that seemed to be the idea. Oh, no. I now go back to Main Street. <laughs> uh, 
That's right, that was the basic one. Yes, I didn't back it enough to get the game. Um, so now I can use that with that. And use that with that as well. There we go, so now I can put these all in the Arrestatron. Oh yeah, definitely a cheapskate. I blame the, the fact people don't give me money. <laughs> uh, do I give it to the Arrestatron? No. Insert three reports from the block transfer. It doesn't seem it. to be working. Insert three reports from the Blocktron 3000 Fingertron 3000 and Facetron 3000 into the Arrestron 3000 to issue an arrest warrant. Is it broken it until I've done something? To be working. It seems to be missing a tube. Oh, do I need to go to YouTube? Uh, where was that? A Street? No, it's B Street, isn't it? There. Let's go over to the counter where we can talk. <laughs> well, hi. Welcome to Ricky's YouTube. Your new sign looks good. Oh, yeah. I was just super grateful you feds came and helped me out with that. I was really stuck on picking a name. You city folks sure are slick with your wordplay and your machine washable suits. <laughs> <laughs> I'm taking the piss out of my Why suit. Why were you having such a hard time with a name? Well, I'm not the most creative person. I mean, my bakery was called Ricky's Cakes, after all. I was trying to be clever with my new brand, but I'm no marketing hotshot. That's for darn sure. Whoa, how did you get the sign painted so fast? I just called the Pigeon Brother Sisters. <laughs> I thought they were plumbers. Oh, no. They do all sorts of jobs like painting, electrical, paranormal investigations. You know, that kind uh, of thing. I do want to get them into the hotel. Okay. That's all for now. Don't leave town. Okay, hon. Just holler if you need me. Yes, it's the YouTube shop. Uh, anything else changed? There's the whole tube thing there just because I haven't finished this part of the game yet. Probably. So let's not worry about it. Let's head to... Uh, back to the hotel. I've also got to do all of Dolores' stuff. Maybe I'll do that next. But you might want I this. I wonder what the guest is up to now. I heard a rumor your maintenance people aren't available tonight. Why don't you try the Pigeon Brothers? Why, Abu, that's exactly what we need. Thank you so much, Abu. Right, so now do I need to scare him again? What was that? <laughs> again? Maybe I didn't imagine it. That poor man. Maybe these new people can help Abu him. Poultry Brothers plumbing, Abu? We've got a maintenance emergency, Abu, right now. You can be here right away. Thank a boo you. Oh, we started something now. Here come the pigeon brothers, sisters. We received a signal that you're in need of some paranormal electrical help. Thanks. Let me know when you're done. Paranormal electrical help. Oh. I don't want to disturb the professionals. No. Help. I'm a ghost. Hello. <laughs> they seem to be able to see me. Ooh. That looks
looks high tech, but I don't think zapping it will help. No reaction, huh? Weird. Uh. So they're there, and the door is open. It's definitely worth picking up. I mean, uh, this is my first playthrough, and I'm having a lot of fun with it. And the more people buy it, the more likely we are to get another one. <laughs> Now, I've been wanting to steal this wrench for quite a while. And now I can. I don't know why I need it, but I've got it. <laughs> right. Now I'm kind of stuck, so let's see what I can do with Dolores. There's a speck of dust straight away, so we'll get that. Uh, what does she want to do? I know what happened to Dad. Fix missing a restaurant tube. Oh, she fixes the tube. Practice tables. Go talk to Lenore in the library. Collect 47. Well, she wants to collect specks of dust. I wonder if all the ones I've collected already count. Or not. Great. Now I'm carrying around a handful of black soot. It might come in handy. <laughs> there. Oh, good. It's a can of non-trademark infringing poopsie. <laughs> that makes me laugh every time. There's nothing inside. There's nothing inside. There's nothing in there's nothing inside. There's nothing there's nothing in there's nothing inside. There's nothing inside. There's nothing there's nothing inside. I think there was nothing inside. I was wondering about Doug. He definitely reminds me of something. <laughs> Where the hell but I can't been, think out what it is. We're all here waiting for you so we can start the reading of Uncle Chuck's will. Take a chill pill, Lenore. I had to answer the door. It was one of those federal agents. I don't care if it was the flippin' Pope. And hands off the cute one. He's mine. <laughs> Let's get on with it, sister. I want to know these what people. I got. Wait, I thought you said everyone was here. Where's the lawyer? I don't know. I thought he was coming with you. <sighs> oh, Lenore, you're useless. Has anyone tried calling him? Well, maybe if you hadn't left town and broken Uncle Chuck's heart, we wouldn't need to call the lawyer to read a will. This is all your fault, Dolores. Uh... Do I know the name of a lawyer? I'm pretty sure I do. Chucky's been in our family for years. He's a good plant. Dolores, if you have anything to say, you say it to me. Leave Peter alone. Okay. Okay. I don't we think got I off like on you. The wrong foot. Let's try again. Dig Doug could be. Definitely could be. Uh Lenore. Dolores. If you came for the will reading, you might as well leave now and save yourself the disappointment. <laughs> Uncle nice. Chuck had a new favorite niece before he passed. <laughs> also, have you called the stupid lawyer yet? I want to get the will read and see how little Uncle Chuck left you. Lovely. Do you know anything about Dad's disappearance? Dad probably ran off to hide somewhere. It's amazing that Dad and Uncle Chuck were cut from the same genes. One a powerful leader, and the other, well... Uh, okay, I'll look for that next time spineless. I'm there. Don't talk about Dad like that, Lenore. You're so cruel. He was spineless. Would it kill you to help out a little? I wasn't the one who abandoned the family. I was always there for Uncle Chuck. So it's time for you to finally lift a finger and help out. Oh, gag me. All you were ever there for was a handout from Uncle Chuck. Oh, Dolores, I won't shed one tear for you when the will is read and Uncle Chuck left everything to me. So Uncle Chuck really hated me? Can you flip and blame him? You <laughs> broke his heart when you left to become a you-know-what. 
A game developer? Oh, shh. <laughs> <laughs> here? Is my career really that shameful? Oh, hell yes, sweetie. Then what do you tell people I do instead? We just tell people you went to rehab. It's better <laughs> for the family name. <laughs> oh, nice. Can you tell people I'm a drug addict? Better they think that than know you chose to make those mind-corrupting murder simulators for a living. For the last time, Lenore, I don't make murder simulators. Oh, sure you don't, sweetie. Ugh. You know what? I don't care. Tell them whatever you like, you grody poser. But this makes us even for the time I used your homecoming crown as a conductor in my homemade generator. <laughs> Oh, that's Chuck Jr. How is Chuck Jr. doing? Chucky is thriving. Some people say he's a brat, but those people just don't recognize his blossoming leadership abilities. No doubt picked up from Chuck Sr. because he certainly didn't get them from his father. How are things with Peter? <laughs> Fine. Just peachy. I can't believe we've only been together 20 years now because it feels like a flippin' eternity. <laughs> Lovely. <laughs> I think we're done here. Don't let the door hit you on the way out. I'm assuming we I can't can... reach that. I'm assuming we can't leave. We'll just try it. Dig in. Oh, we can. Still want to check the rest of the house first, though. Dig in. Nothing's changed here. It's a red gel decoder. Well, I picked it up last time, so I'll pick it up again. Same with the trophy. These are part of my action figure collection, including my prized Howard the Duck. Everybody loves Howard the Duck. It's my handy ASCII chart. Never know when you'll need to decode binary messages, so I always practice every day. It's dedication. It's my state-of-the-art Commodore 64 with dual 1541 floppy drives and a blazingly fast 1200 baud modem. <laughs> uh, I also picked up this last time, so I'll take it again. It's my state-of-the-art yep. Commodore 64 with dual 1541 floppy drives and a... Why are you walking around the house like this, Doug? Finding you more and more suspicious. It feels lonely without Breaking Uncle dust. Chuck around. Looks like an old receipt. It's a receipt from the town's electronics store. One vacuum tube puller paid in full. I probably need that. That looks like Uncle Chuck's journal. I've stuck to this journal to keep a record of my progress. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Something greater than making pillows? Surely not. My neutron tube is amazing. <laughs> this is working out well. I just need to make sure the solder connections are good. I think I've cracked the secret to AI. Oh, it's quite complex with this neutron tube. 700%. <laughs> what a nice man. Uh, I've hidden program in the mansion library. Okay, so I probably need to find that. <laughs> Nobel Prize, I doubt it. Okay, yeah, these are the Tron machines. <laughs> they fired the coroner. Yeah, you made the sheriff the coroner. Rich and famous are flocking here. Okay. <laughs> Talking about some strange behavior from the AI. Pretty sure the AI has taken over the town. 
Paranoid about his job. Yay. <laughs> He's talking to the robots now. I've become distracted with this text adventure I downloaded. <laughs> oh dear. AI in games. Good idea. Willie is dead to me. I make him pay for what he's done. It was my girl, not his. Interesting. Willie's watch business is no more. I'll have my AI take care of his bank account. Wow. Chuck turned evil. This text adventure is really interesting. Use my AI. I might be able to simulate a little world in here. <laughs> Don't know what happened. One of the AIs must have come off the grid. A small fire started on floor two and the pillows went up in a flash. Yeah, so they did frame the... Um, the guard went to the ground. Yeah, they play. I didn't think he did it. <laughs> wow, the guard bots killed him. Wow. I think I can change the time clock so it looks like Mr. Ray's didn't check in. That should avert suspicion. We'll take the fool. There we go. Kept it going. Wow. Back of the factory trying to clean up. Most of the factory AI seems to have been destroyed. The good news is most complex. Yeah, that's fine. Ah, so we need to find the basement. Uh, they have a case Mr. Ace will be happy with some money to move away. There's this main Tron machine, probably in the basement. <laughs> oh dear. 1138, where do I know that number from? Arts from that stupid space movie, Dolores can't stop quoting. <laughs> I've to my journal for a while. Now she's taken to a clutch of computers. Pillow factories, rebirth night. This is taking way too long to read through. Okay. Oh, so that's why he didn't want to do the toys. He doesn't want the factory restarted. Seems to be interested in making games. I need to show him my text adventure, but I don't think it's ready yet. World simulation is getting good. She is out of my will. She's taken the job at a game company far from Timberweed Park. Maybe I was a little hasty. At least she's making games. There might be hope. Yeah, so the AI is definitely trying to get, get me out of here. A lot of things would make sense if it were. I'm on the last page of the journal. I need to get a new one. So much to write down. This truly is amazing. <laughs> Uncle Chuck was a strange and complicated person. Evil, I think, is the word you're looking for. Yeah, THX1138. Too bad Uncle Chuck never finished working on him. Too bad Uncle Chuck never finished working on him. It's Uncle Chuck's custom-built multi-band oscilloscope with phase memory monitoring. Uncle Chuck never made his bed. No and I guess Doug beds. can't make beds with a shovel. <laughs> that is true. It's a defunct robot prototype. It's a strange device with a red button. I want it. I want it. <laughs> it says Philip's dangerous device, and it has a red button and a speaker on it. I don't think I should use this. It says it's dangerous. Key. There's something written on it. I need to pick it up before you tell me what it is. It's a key. Hmm. It says office on it. It's a fingerprint reader to open the safe. It only works for Uncle Chuck. Okay. Box. It's a box, but it's sealed shut. You can use it if you really want, but heed her warning. I did. I did. <laughs> I don't have a reason to use Uncle Chuck's oscilloscope. No, but I could probably get his fingerprints from it. I don't want to do that. It would make it look red. It's Uncle Chuck's check register. 
I'm not going to carry this big checkbook around. Okay, we don't want that, but we found a safe and we need a fingerprint. Is there anything in this room or not? I can't remember now. Oh, there wasn't. Excuse me. Okay. Digging! Hi, Doug. What are you digging? What are you All digging? Right, Dolores. I'm just digging stuff in the grand lobby. Mostly holes. But then I buries them again. All <laughs> neat and tidy. Okay, Doug. You're doing a good job. Ta, Dolores. I don't trust you. I reckon you're the mastermind. Digging! I feel someone's got a business card for a lawyer. But I can't remember who. Um, I probably want to find you a map. If you'll allow me leave. You may not. Oh no, you do. Good. I'll get you a map. Ah, there's the clown. Welcome to Quickie Pal. Can I help you find anything? No, I just want to take maps. I probably should start talking to you at some point, but. Hi, Ransom. Uh, hi, Ransom. What the f do you want? <laughs> nice. Were you the killer? No. <laughs> hardly ever even leave the circus except to pick up all my fan mail. I believe you. You're kind of a creep, but I don't think you're a killer. You! <laughs> nice. Are you sure it wasn't you that killed that poor man? You! You know, I was at your fateful last performance. Well, good for you. So did I insult you? No, I was hiding behind the person in front of me. Your tough luck, I loved insulting kids. <laughs> it was so easy to make them cry. Seeing you cursed scarred me for life. Oh, now you're just being dramatic. Between all those <laughs> sobbing people and Madame Marina's curse, I still get nightmares. Well, how do you think I feel? That witch ruined my career, and now I can't even afford to buy makeup remover. As if it would do any good. Well, I think you probably deserved it. You! I need to go. <laughs> Lovely. Um, where did I want to go? This is my main street. I'm assuming it's not going to be this simple. I need a tube puller to install the tube. That is what I was expecting. you got to try these things. Alright, what else do you want to do? Get the lawyer. Uh, it was you who had the lawyer's card. Uh, let's bring Dolores back here. Nerd. <laughs> You're not caring enough. <laughs> it's a business card for a lawyer. Brad Balowick, JD. Legal problems? Don't worry, we'll screw them for you. I'm in the phone book. Hey, he was Uncle Chuck's lawyer. <laughs> I thought he may have been. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. Back to the mansion. There was a phone book by the phone in the library, right? It was JD somewhat. Be under JD, or will I have to work out what his second name, or his first name actually is? Was it actually J? Look 
at that business card again. It's a business card for a lawyer. Brant Balowick, JD. Ah, Legal Brant problems? Don't Aloic. worry, we'll screw him for you. I'm in the phone book. Hey, he was Uncle... All I remembered was the JD bit. There he is. 2465. Hi there. This is Brant Bailiwick, JD. Do you have legal problems? Then you've come to the right place. I'm out of the office today, prepping for ThimbleCon 87. Try me later. Well damn. Have you called the stupid lawyer yet? Yes, I have. Would it kill you to help out a little? I wasn't the one who abandoned the family. I was always there for Uncle Chuck, so it's time for you to finally lift a finger and help out. Oh, gag me. All you were ever there for was a handout from Uncle Chuck. Oh, Dolores, I won't shed one tear I know, for I you know. when the will is read and Uncle Chuck left everything to me. I think we're done here. Don't let the door hit you on the way out. Right, Fimblecon was happening at the hotel. I remember correctly. I think I remembered the JD part because of Scrubs. <laughs> That's what I'm blaming anyway. I bet I can't get in here. It's locked. You get in there. Oh, nice it's here. an elevator. It's an elevator. Try it. I should talk to you before I get out. See if you're more talkative now. Xavier says talking on duty is not allowed. Also, I don't talk to new ghosts. Leave me alone. No, you are not. Can I get into the ballroom? It's chaos in there. I think they're setting up for something. I'll wait until they're done setting up before I go in. Okay, maybe it's a timed thing. It's a door to the hotel room ball and an event space area. Dolores, it's me, Dad. Dolores, can you see me? I'm standing right here. <laughs> I want to give you a hug and say I'm sorry. I wish I, you know, stood up for you against Chuck. I'm really proud of you for getting that programmer job. You followed your dreams and didn't let Chuck hold you back. I wish I could have, you know, been as strong as you. Goodbye, Dolores. I miss you. What have you still got to do? Is it Chuck's tomb? You leave the hotel? It's a robot? Why can't I leave? I bet it's Xavier keeping me here in this stupid hotel. That makes a lot of sense. Alright. Getting to that point of the game where I don't really know what to do next. It's an elevator. Oh, there's dust. It's a speck of dust. Yeah. Ooh. I don't know what that did. You're not going to let me to the penthouse still. Sorry, but Xavier said no one could go to the penthouse. I'm assuming there aren't stairs to the penthouse. I've never checked actually, so let's go and have a look. I assume these floors would all look the same. Okay, what do you have left to do? Find missing joke book page. Yes, I hate my life. <laughs> Go beep yourself if you found this note and are reading it. Lovely. Uh, try removing makeup again. Find missing joke book page. Just 
just going to be stuck somewhere, isn't it? Somewhere random. Ah, the the radio place, maybe. Um, that'd be a good place for a missing page, wouldn't it? Or use it. He will. Oh, let's get the clown to climb the ladder. <laughs> the circus freak will climb the ladder. <laughs> Time. Wow, this is a high tower. Stupid ladder. <laughs> Stupid ladder. All this climbing just to solve a puzzle. <laughs> what the hell is this? Looks complicated. Now I better get out of here fast. <laughs> that was one hell of a puzzle. We're off the air. <laughs> Just as we feared, the government sabotaged the tower. Oh, is this going to be a timing thing? Hello, I'm a scary clown. Just ignore me. I'm not going in there. They did a whole half hour hatchet job call in special on my last performance okay but that gets her out that's good to know still haven't found the missing page what about the factory another place I can't get into oh, I wonder if the key does the missing factory actually now I think about it didn't look like a padlock key And try it. This is the other place, but that means it's part of the. Phew. What a climb! Okay, so you've got some time to do whatever it is you need to do while she's not there. It's okay. Uh, but 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 perfect. Thanks for stopping by uh, Safe Xbox. It doesn't work in that. It doesn't work in that. That is not where that needs to go. All right. Uh, to stay focused. What have you got left to do? Put fruit reports. No, you're the same as the guy. And she's back. Okay. All back to normal again. There is a puzzle. Let's see if we can do that then. Because I'm running out of ideas. We inter I don't think I want to... Oh, what are you interrupting it for? Did I miss it? Because I walked out. What a big lever. <laughs> lever. Then... Well, you might actually climb it yourself. But I'm wondering if there's some more jokes if you send someone else up there or not. Or if it always has to be the clown. No way am I climbing that. Okay, it's always the clown. I'm afraid of heights. It's fine. See if we can get into the little booth. Oh, I can just go straight to the tower, can I? We go straight up this time? No, we have to go through this every time by the look of it. <laughs> oh, let's get the clown to climb the ladder. The circus freak will climb the ladder. All this climbing just to solve a <laughs> I've just puzzle. taped my uh, dashboard on Twitch. I hope you're seeing a clown climbing up a tower and not me Wait using a phone right time. now. That's all I'm saying. Stupid ladder. Oh, 
Oh, hello there, Mr. Battleheart. How are you doing? What the hell is this? Looks complicated. Yeah, serves him right for that <laughs> radio show. Now I better get out of here fast. Oh, no. We're, we're off the air again? Just ignore me. I'm not going to try and break anything. Oh, no, no. It's a turntable. What a big lever. This dear. That doesn't seem to work. Impressive mic. That doesn't seem to work. It's Tuna Head by Razor and I can't. It's been glued to the turntable. <laughs> of course it has. It's a... Phew. What a climb. Maybe I need a record before I can do this. Okie dokie. It is. I remember tune ahead. Hello, clown. Alright, so Franklin can't leave. Dolores needs a tube, and we've got a key. And I think there's a basement to that house which we need to find. Okay, all back to normal again. I can find something else to put on the uh, turntable. Ba -ba -da -ba -ba. And look what else she wanted to do. I think I did. Yeah, get lawyer. You can't get it. Maybe if she talks to the manager. At the hotel. Let's try that. I just noticed it says I love basic on the bottom of a thing. <laughs> basic or visual basic anyway was the first programming language I, uh, I ever learnt. Hello Dolores. How lovely to see you today. How may I be a boo of service. And if anybody remembers Q basic. How's business been going? In this town? Always slow. You know how it is. How else may I be a boo of service? Did you see my dad just before he disappeared? I saw him, but I don't know, Abu, what happened to him. Funny thing, Abu, though. Yes? Please, <laughs> tell me everything. That same day, a man with a large nose, Abu, checked in and then disappeared. Weird. Dad's nose isn't big, and you know what Dad looks like. <laughs> How else may I be a boo of service? That is weird. I'm going to check out the beautiful lobby. Goodbye. Have a nice evening, Abu. Okay, so if you like Q Basic, do you remember that game with the two gorillas who threw bananas? And you're trying to take each other out. Can't remember what it was called. Um it's already closed. It's locked. It doesn't work in that. Now, this is probably for up in the penthouse, but I can't get to the penthouse. Ah, oh, was it just called Gorilla? Ah, oh, such a good game. I loved it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I remember those. <laughs> That's weird. I swear I pushed... We did. Oh, yeah, look, there's the, there's the reference.
Right. So we've got the vacuum tube. Can I use the wrench to pull tubes out? Yes, I can, because that's what they used it for. Is that what they used it for? Hang on, my phone's going off. I'll be back in a second. Okay, sorry about that. I'm back. <laughs> I'm amazed that's the first time I've been interrupted, to be honest. Any idea what's the reference to? Off the top of my head, no. But given time, I could probably <laughs> I could probably remember. Would you like Hello Dolores? I like how they say hello to each other. Thanks a lot. Does that help you with your list? Maybe not. Let's see. Uh, Main Street. Oh, of course, yes. Guybrush loves the lane. That make a lot of sense. It doesn't work on that. I use it on the instructions. It doesn't work on that. Hmm. Maybe that's not how I. I need a tube puller to install the tube. This is not a tube it's puller. It's a wrench. It's an plumber's wrench that says Wrenchtron three thousand. Okay, that's not what that was for. Hello, Dolores. How's life in the big city? <laughs> you might love that, nurse. <laughs> Having a lot of fun. Interested in a little interview for the award winning nickel? I'm sure our readers would be fascinated. I don't think so. The town is pretty mad at me for abandoning my uncle. It's a perfect way to get your side of the story out. Local girl makes good making. making. What is it you make again? <laughs> Adventure games. Ah, games. You mean for kids? <laughs> No, our main audience is adults. Lots of shooting and killing, that sort of thing. Adventure games are all about story and characters. Sounds like something I would like. I'm writing a novel. It's about the first female president in 2017. <laughs> I didn't know you wrote fantasy. <laughs> it's good to have you back, Dolores. Oh, I like it. I'm a little confused over my feelings for Uncle Chuck. He was a complex man. Mind if we talk some more about Uncle Chuck? Oh, I could write a whole book about his ego and arrogance. You probably should. 
What else do you think about Uncle Chuck? He was a charmer that could manipulate a crowd. Okay. I'm not sure why I stopped by. That's okay. I know times are tough for you. I think I need to go. Thanks for talking, Natalie. Bye, Dolores. Sorry to hear about your Uncle Chuck's passing. Bye, Natalie. Okey dokey. The mansion, maybe? Oh, I could try the sewers for the joke page. I haven't looked there. I'm sure she's going to turn up at some random place, though. Nothing else suspicious about that. No way round the back on the grounds? So. It's very dry fire. Once is enough. No, that just takes me to the front door. Being suspicious looking in here. I can see. Oh, I know I need to find something in the library, but I can't remember what it was now. Maybe you don't know that Pimble Khan has taken place in the hotel. That was a poster somewhere. Maybe that would help. Blow out puppy sale. Lovely. Phone. Air today, gone tomorrow. It's still closed, I take it. The doors are locked yep. and nobody's inside. I wonder if I can open up one of these shops. That's what I meant to be doing. Uh, that was A Street. By B Street. Down the back of the restaurant. You got any gluten free donuts? Nope. Bimblecon 87. It's opening later tonight at the hotel. Okay. Maybe it's just a timing thing. Hello, Dolores. How lovely to see you today. How may I be a boo of service? I'm going to check out the beautiful lobby. Goodbye. Have okay, a nice I evening, think it might just be a timing thing then. That's fine. It's locked. Right over here for the missing joke page. We'll also go back to the old circus, see if it's still around there somewhere. In fact, the trampoline was there, makes you think it might be. Gross! <laughs> At least you react to some things properly. Yeah, let's check the circus. Oh, the cemetery. I haven't been there for a long time. The padlock is unlocked. It's too heavy. Oh, that's a shame. I don't know why I'm doing this. You! I'm not gonna jump on that without a spotter. <laughs> Safety first. <laughs> Ah, oh, there's always more to it. Right. Oh, speck of dust. Anyway, I'm actually going to have to call it a, a day there, I'm afraid. 
hope you've enjoyed watching and I hope you come back. I will be playing this again tomorrow. See if I can get any further or if I'll be beating my head against a brick wall. Thanks for watching and uh, I hope to see you all again. Bye for now.